Hi guys, good to be back. Welcome to another video and today I'm going to be talking about something that for a channel all about magic is a pretty big topic. What is the holy grail of card magic? That's the question that I'm going to be talking about today and the answer to it is a little bit controversial and I'm sure a lot of magicians are going to have a lot of different thoughts about this. So, what is the greatest card trick ever? It's a, it's a big question. Where do I even begin? There are so many candidates. From Kostya Kimlat's Triumph to Shin Lim's Dream Act, I mean, these are, these are just off the top of my head. There are so many card tricks. But out of all of the card tricks that have ever been performed, there is one that keeps coming up time and time again as the answer to this question for many magicians. And that trick is the Burglass Effect. So you're probably wondering why is the Burglass effect known as the holy grail of card magic and what happens in the trick? And why is there a bit of controversy about whether this is the greatest card trick ever? We'll get into all of that, but first, a brief history of the Burglass effect. The trick was created sometime in the 1950s by a magician called David Burglass, who was a household name for magic for many, many years in Britain. He was in the US Intelligence Service for the Army. He studied medical hypnosis. He was a bit of a legend, really. I mean, all things considered, this guy is an amazing magician. There's no question about that. But in 1976, a guy called Martin Breeze makes a tape recording talking about David Burglass's nightclub act. And as part of that act is, of course, the Burglass Effect. I could go into a lot more detail, but that is a brief history of the Burglass Effect in about 30 seconds. So, what is the trick? What actually happens in this trick? Well, according to Martin Breeze, in this description, he says that the magician allows the spectator to name any card and name any number, and then he hands them the deck, and they find that card at that position perfectly. And it really is as simple as that, and apparently as fair as that, which on face value is very, very impressive. If that really is the trick, that's amazing. And that's where we hit our first snag, because I said, if that is the trick, is there a video of the Burglass effect performed exactly as described that we can watch and analyze? No. Is there a live performance of the Burglass Effect performed exactly as described that live spectators who are there in person can talk about and relay precisely what happened? No, there is none of that. We're just going off an audio recording, a tape recording from the 70s. It is our main basis for what the Burglass Effect is, unfortunately. Now sure, since then there have been other performances and other descriptions pretty much as vague as Martin Breeze's original description of the effects that have happened and have come into the public domain for us to see and analyze. But none of them have quite lived up to that initial explanation. So the theory is that David Burglass performed a trick back then that was as perfect as an any card any number can get. Physically, that is the perfect trick. But there's no evidence for it. I mean, it is baffling that this has come up time and time again as the greatest trick ever performed, the holy grail of card magic, and there's not even a video for us to look at. In 2011, Burglass released a book with someone else called The Burglass Effects that describes an any card, any number, but it's just not quite as perfect as magicians want it to be. They are chasing that ultimate method that describes the effect perfectly, where a card is named free a number is named freely, they are handed the deck and it's as perfect as that. Unfortunately, I don't think that effect exists. Right now, there isn't a method for it. We have looked, we have searched, hundreds and thousands of magicians have come up with methods for any card, any number that are, are as perfect as possible. But then the magicians will complain that it's not quite the Burglass effect because at this particular point, he touches the deck in a certain way. You know, tiny little things, tiny little subtleties that weren't described in the original Burglass effect recording. And trust me, I get it. I want to chase that perfect method just as much as anyone else. I love the idea that that trick exists and can be performed and that David Burglass has this secret buried within him. That is a romantic story. That is fairy tale-esque that that method exists somewhere. Unfortunately, I just think this has snowballed from a recording, an audio description that was vague, that didn't describe the effect perfectly. There were elements of it that were clearly missing from Martin Breeze's explanation. He was relaying it, what well, he thought, from perfect memory, but anyone that's performed magic, or certainly just anyone who has experienced life 
knows that our memory isn't perfect. Our memory is not a video camera that records every movement perfectly. Martin Brees probably just forgot that at one point when David Berglas took the cards out of the box, he gave them a cut or something as simple as that. Because if that did happen and Martin Brees just forgot it did, then the Berglas effect doesn't exist as perfectly as lots of people want it to. Those are my thoughts on the Berglas effect. It's really interesting. Um, it's a really interesting topic. It's going to be something that is spoken about for years and years and yeah, uh, it's gonna it's gonna cause discussion. I could go into a lot more detail. The story of this whole thing is really really interesting. So I'm gonna link some stuff down in the description if you are interested and you want to read a bit more about this topic. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to click the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you are new and you made it to this point of the video. I think you'll enjoy my channel. So feel free to subscribe. And if you do want to support the Dark Dystopian deck. On Kickstarter, it is available down in the description. Feel free to pick a deck up for £13 for one, and worldwide shipping has dropped. So if you supported the last deck and you thought the prices were a bit expensive, I heard your complaints. Don't worry, this deck is a lot cheaper and it'll be printed on the same world-class quality. So uh, yeah, hope to see you over on Kickstarter, and I will see you very, very soon. Ah, uh, no, 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 that's completely wrong. Ah. Uh. God, no, that's never going to work. It's impossible. I'm never going to work it out. Ow. Why can't I just... Mike, what the hell's going on? It's 4.30 in the morning. Well, I've been up all night working on this trick, actually. All right, what's the trick? Any card at any number. It's a real puzzle. Oh, okay. Well, I know loads of ways to do that, so I'll help you. No, 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 you don't understand. You see, this is the Burglass effect. It's completely different. Okay, um, what's the difference? Well, because this is the perfect any card at any number. I mean, it does not get better. Every other one uses something like a second deal, a bottom deal, a deck switch, a cut, a shuffle, memorization, a stack. Double. Okay, okay, I get the idea. But what is wrong with any of those methods? Well, I mean, they're not perfect, are they? I mean, I want a perfect any card at any number. What loads of those methods would accomplish that trick? But not without some discrepancy. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, would your spectator notice the discrepancy? Well, um, no. Would your spectator still be amazed by the trick? Yeah. Would the trick still be called an any card at any number? Yes. Well, then just perform one of the methods you already have, okay? I am tired. No, 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 Cavan, I don't think you understand. I am chasing the holy grail of card magic, which quite clearly doesn't exist. Every trick has to have a trick. What? Even the Burglass effect? Yes, they all have methods. Magic isn't real, I'm sorry. Now please, get some sleep. Okay, well, thanks. But maybe if I were to have an electronic deck that moved the cards around, that might work. Mm -hmm.